Welcome back to session six, part two of Booty High Seas Low Expectations. Last session, the gang went and met a shipwright at the shipyard, did a bit of window shopping. Then they went over to finally meet Mikkel Salgo in his pub, The Crown. Uh, they learned about what they may receive for returning the ship. Uh, Kapipi agreed to uh, a little bit of a gig. And they went and inspected the ship where Mikkel found it had some adjustments, but that's being put right now as the gang head back to the Crown. You walk in through the front door of the pub once again, and Mikkel's seats and VIP area are of course kept clean and only for him. Uh, he leads you to the bar, orders you each a drink, the simple grog or ale, nothing too much. Titus is still spinning Not a little from his, his chug sesh. Um, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock now. Uh, well, that's past seven. Your meeting was meant to be at seven. It was a little bit early. Uh, just past seven o'clock. Uh, the evening crowd are now very much piling in. You can see uh, Bob and Nob, the half or quarters are. from earlier in your adventure, have uh, started to set up their booth. There's a gong on a table with their clubs resting either side. They've uh, set up this sort of elaborate sort of light booth, which is a series of stained glass windows that they, they've they lit little candles oh, that's behind. Cool. So they've kind of got like a light box of different like reds and blues really and cool. greens, um, which is casting this very typical club night light over the area. Some areas for the tables and chairs and things in front of this stage area that they're setting up on have been cleared back to allow for a dance area. And uh, dotted around the inn, you see various entertainers um, enjoying a meal or a drink before perhaps being part of Bob and Nob's le legendary uh, club night. What do you do? Bob to Lee Nob. Where's Nob? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. There's, there's uh, a lot of people piling in here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah but you're used to it, right? Yeah. You're, you're famous. You do this all the time. Yeah, oh, loads of... Always levitate you again. Yeah, but there's, like, there's like, lo like loads of people in here. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you could do the levitate thing, when do you want me to do it? At the end of the show, you'll know when, when, oh, when okay. it's time. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, just say the magic word and I'll do it. What is the magic word? It's pick me up, buddy. Pick, pick me up, buddy. Yeah, pick me there's up, not really much. Buddy. You just have to ask me. Okay, I'll I've, do it. That's fine. I've got loads of instruments um, here, but uh, swords. Do you think you can help me? Um, what with catering? No, with, with the performance. You're good at catering. So I can go you, around with like a tip hand. I usually I start with my signature. Boom, 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 ka. But ah. then I switch to a, a smaller instrument. I'm going to probably go with a bigger instrument this time. You know, like yeah. more of a guitar size. Oh, okay, right. Which then means I, I can't really do the drums. the drums. If you could, uh, if I give you my drums, bash. be careful, they are my family heirlooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're your dead family. Yeah, if you can give me my boom, 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 you boom, boom. You want me to do that? And then just like, you can give me some, some okay. riv, like, do you want to, you know, I don't know, have a... Let have me a, have a little hit, see if, I, if have, it works. Have a quick Have a little donk on your, is that your aunt, uncle? Great uncle? This that one. one is, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, if you do the uh, the drums for me, I'm yeah. going to play a little song. He wants it to be about <clears throat> the fat duck. So I'm going to have to just really big it up. Is there anything I should say in the song that might sweeten him up a little bit? Uh, just compliment his hat. I, when I do you want me to well, levitate yes, you now? No, no, no. I can I, make you big or small. When I say raise me up, buddy. I can make you big words. or small. Okay. I think Would you I'm, like to be enlarged? I think I'm going to be ready for I this. can double your size or shrink you. God, Bob and Nob, one of them, wanders up to you. Um, they're right. All right then, all right, all right there, turtle man. <laughs> Hi, Bob or Nob. Bob, I, put I, that down. I recognise you. We, we, you, we, we, we hope you carry them weird monkey types down near the uh, apothecary way, didn't we? Yeah. Oh yes, I remember you, Nob. All right, fish man. You, Nob. How's the scarring going? I think going? so. Oh. oh, it's good, it's healing well, yeah. Yeah, it's only been a day, but it's yeah, been all right. Yeah, not even that, if anything. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, no, it's going it's well. Warm, isn't it? Hey, we got a lovely night for you prepared tonight. We've got a legendary club night. Um, you got people coming from all kinds. You've got Juggler. You've got Juggler. You've got What's the Juggler's name? Name? Andrew Juggle? What's the name's Juggler? Jim. Wow, you juggled something. Jim, Jim the Juggler. What yeah. Kind of, what does the jump, jump, Juggler look live like? Live animals. He juggles live Exclusively animals. Exclusively live animals. What kind of animals? And really dangerous ones. Snakes, Not like poison, venomous snakes. What buckets of spiders. A bus spiders. Buckets. Buckets of spiders. And occasionally a large mammal. I don't want to be here for the spider thing. They're weird to me. He's on Just at the stand end. Stand at the back. Okay. He's on at the end. What of the hippopotamus? Huh? Did you... Nah, too big a juggle. Hippopotamus is a big. There's a large thing to juggle. He's had a few ales. Right. I mean, I'd love to see it, but yeah. Yes. Got a juggler, we've got hoops. Got a hoop spinner. There's oh, a hoop. you got everything. Oh, I can't wait. 
Which sounds you, really good. Where are you find the, the time to organise all this? Where did you do well, to be honest, you didn't do much during a day. We just wander around the pier, yeah. see when interesting folks come in, like you lot, offer them our services, portage, mm. stuff like that. And then um, when we, some of them will go like, here, why don't you come down? To be honest, I kicked myself after we met you lot, because I was like, you You're should. right, you've fallen asleep. I am a little. One side of my brain's resting. Um, oh, you're, you're wailing it. I, I am. That's weird. Interesting. He's anyway, thinking. I kicked myself when, um, when, when we remembered you. You were meant to be a good bar, didn't you? Dicky Mickey, yeah, that's, ah, that's yeah, the, yeah. But we went over in Turtles at Turtle Bay. Yeah. Had, like, dinner, like dinner turtle. And a bloke in there, he was like, uh, you uh, seen the uh, Sticky Mickey? Well, wow. Like, you do a good wow. impression good. of it. It's like almost exactly how he sounded to us. Yeah, and we said, no, we hadn't. And then we two, put two and two together and made five. And mm. here you are. Yeah, there we are. Four, five of us. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Anyway, well, what time you want to go on? What slot you want? Oh, yeah, we're, we're late. Cool. What, when's like the prime time that Mickle will really be like focusing yeah, but not on the bored. stage? Like, what, when, when was he normally like, really get into it? We really want to impress Mickle Salgo. Bob? Bob? I'm Knob, I think. No. Um, straight away. Straight away. What was the question? Opening act. When's, when's Mickle going to be most impressed yeah, with like the performance? Yeah, the best time. What's the prime time? Um, before he gets too drunk, because he does get wasted. He gets right. out of his then. face blasted. Early. By All the right. end of the night, right, he'll be throwing chairs around. How about I go on first, you guys do your gong, ah. I come on. All right. And well, then, we got like, oh, just look at my wrist. I just looked at my wrist for a reason. Yeah, we all keep doing we that. We all keep yeah, doing right. it. It just feels like why. you should be able to know the time of day from that. But no, you can't. What do you reckon, in 15 minutes, you ready to go on? Yeah. I don't know. What? I don't know what What's that means. Sound? Yeah. You've had too many. I don't know. What have a lie mean? down. You've had too many. Are you all right if I just what use a have? couple of my... Oh, where are the horses? <laughs> where do they... Do you have a stables here? Yeah. Where do you keep your stables? On the outskirts of town, up towards the hillsides. And so where have they... You said... Someone said you were riding horses in here. Oh, the wooden horses! That's our little bit. Yeah, we've got these little um, horse heads on sticks with wheels in no, the bottom. Horses. Right, no, sorry. You want to see him? Yeah. Come on then, come with me. Well, he takes, over, yeah, takes over the stage. I'll see you in 15 minutes, yeah? Show me your Show 15. And you want me to do... Right. You still want You're me right to... if I use these right. as part of my show as well, right? He's my roadie and special effects supervisor. This yep. guy's going to be part of the band Bluffer. tonight. Oh, band member. Right, got you. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I can worries. hit things if you want. Huh? I can hit things. Well, try not to right now. I can pull these curtains down. Don't pull the curtains down. They take ages <laughs> Where are those to hang. horses? The horses are over here, and he, he leans down behind the box of oh. like stained glass that he's got the candles behind, right. and it's, it's literally a stick oh, it's with some wheels on the bottom. And on the top is his taxidermied head of a horse. Oh my goodness! It's like a real horse goes. head. I call him Nene. What and what magic does this give you? I'll, I'll huh? What magic does this bestow? Will the horse speak to me? Speak horse. Nothing happens. Speak horse. Nothing happens. Billow. No, your cloak goes. <laughs> Uh, Christ! He take, says. Take your horse back. Your horse is faulty. It's not faulty. It works pretty well. Look, watch me. Watch me. Watch me do this. Watch me, Nene. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> Let me watch. He, he gets on his horse. <laughs> yeah. And he just goes around a bit on it. It's just really weird and What's a bit this sad. Child's play. We're. I'm quite a simple man. I like simple pleasures. Arranging club nights. Riding a fake horse. Carting people's stuff around from the pier. Tell me there's music it's playing. It's a full life. Tell me there's music playing when you're doing that. When? Because when you did it just now, it just felt empty and like nothing was happening. Yeah, it'll feel like that later as well. Oh dear God. Ugh, I don't know what this feeling is. Sadness, disappointment. I'm, I, All the feelings my mother felt. Cringe. I'm cringing. You're cringing. Oh. What's wrong with your face? Don't do the horse thing. Are you eating something sour? Don't do the horse thing. Is it sour? Well, how much do I have to pay you to not do the horse thing? Five gold. Take six. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh God. Bob, I mean Bob. We've got six gold, mate. I'm gonna go back to the others and tell them I managed to save the day. All I have to do is not ride my horse for the night. Lovely. Oh, nice. down. I've saved us all some horrible, horrible cringing. I just found out what cringing was, by the way. It's when you do this. What happened? I, I saw the X before yours and it was awful. Well, that's good. You want to like, make so me look bad. good. No, no. That's why I'm on first. It would it would demotivate you to a point where you wouldn't want to perform. Okay, well, that's good to think I'm on first. So then. just, uh, I, I saw it so you didn't have to. All right. Look, I stopped him anyway, paid him a bit of gold. 
I've had him six goals to not play the whole six season. goals. Six goals. I know, so we need but this like, to buy a ship potentially. It was so bad. He was <sighs> running around the stage with a horse and just like galloping. There we no, could have had curtains. There was no music. Ah. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway. That does sound pretty boring. Did you want me to enlarge you or make you make you small again? You, no, you, you're like gonna you're gonna make me just the ra just, just to the raise the up. Are you, are you in a good spot to do this safely? And you're not gonna <sighs> send me into the roof or snap my neck or anything? I can't promise. Anything. Softly up, I softly down. When I say, what was the magic anything. word? Raise There's me nothing up. Nothing I can promise you right now in this situation. Just listen out for raise me up, buddy. Five feet above the ground and then raise down again. Raise me up, buddy. That's what you told me to say. You got it. Right now? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. During the oh, song, wow. you'll know. You've got to be careful be, when you say it. There'll be music. You've got to be careful when you say it because no one will take it seriously. When you hear music and I say it, that's when you do it. Okay. Right. Right. I'll be, I'll be backstage. All right. I'll watch. Please get this right. Oh, God. All right. I'm, I'm starting I'm with your great now. aunt or? Yeah, it's great aunt and grandparents and then, and then parents around here. Right? And then the big one. It's do dun do dun do dun do ka 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 all right, that's how I always... Ladies and gentlemen! Oh, 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 oh shit. Where's I am Little oh, Salgo. You know the name. May I just announce that soon our famous Bob and Knob Club Nights will be starting. Listen out for the gong. And then, uh... One Dung! There you go. May we announce Bob and Knob Club Night has officially started. Our first act is a famous turtle. He's toured the bay. He's been about... He's eating his own kind. He none other than Sticky Mickey. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Thank you, everybody. Woo, Sticky! I'm Sticky Mickey. Woo, pee -pee. I'm, I'm here for one song tonight only for our great host, uh, uh, Mickle Salgo, over there. Uh, really? You hear a much louder cheer for Mickle Salgo. Yeah, but I'm also as good. Uh, I've got this song prepared. It's about a ship. You may know it. Uh, the the ship that is his ship is the the, the fat duck. Oh, ugh, nearly nearly misnamed it. Uh, and I've uh, I've written the song that's definitely prepared before I start playing. Uh, and I've got all my strings as well. <laughs> He's uh, got that one's yeah. supposed to be the like that. A professional. Finally, finally, Bob. We're getting it's some broken. good. Broken. His string is broken. Okay. Stick around later for the juggler. Stick around later for the juggler. He's juggling buckets of spiders. Stick around for the juggler. Uh, also on the way up, someone has uh, parked their ship across one of the docks. If you can just go out there, it's dock B. They want you to just back it up a little bit. Right. Are you ready for my intro? I've got my, uh, my band mate here. Now mechanically, so, before uh, you start, I, I presume you're doing a bard thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna say that this is, we could either do a song of rest or an enthralling performance. Enthralling performance, I okay, think. Okay, so once per short rest, you can choose three creatures that watched and listened to you perform for one minute. Each target makes a wisdom saving throw, and, it, or, uh, and if it fails, uh, it's charmed by you for an hour, which um, means you'll get a lot of sway. I, can I choose it to be Mickle three times? <laughs> Stack it. Super <laughs> charmed. Yeah. Mickle's your biggest fan. <laughs> um, right, go start your, start your performance. Or I'll, I'll, cho I'll choose Mickle. And then there's yeah. like maybe a couple of other people that were going to tip me. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to give me one more big round of applause, please. Woo! Yeah! Oh, this one's Sticky called Mickey. No the, relation. The Fat Duck. If you don't mind, please, Sword. Yep. Uh, all right, so. Du -dun, du -dun, du -dun. I got to do. Done. Yeah, let's get them hands in the air. Always sailing the sea On a ship that looks nice and big It's Mickle Salgo, you know the name Sorry. And you know the <laughs> ship He knows the ship! The ship is the fat duck Fat duck! Sailing the sea Sailing the sea Sailing the sea Sailing the sea, sailing the sea. you it's a beautiful ship, the fat duck You know fat it doesn't duck. suck Don't Because suck. Mickle Salgo owns the fat duck <laughs> Let me I change! Do. Let he me change. owns the fat duck oh, oh, he starts to raise, you start to raise up to the air Raise me up, buddy yeah. He's going up! Whoa. Go on, please, look at it! Oh, the fat duck, Mickle Salgo's hat looks lovely in Ooh. this light. Bob and Bob spit fuel onto the coloured flames. 
Woo! One more time, you know the words. Hey. It's, it's a fat duck sailing the seas. It's the fat duck for you and me. This ship, it doesn't suck. You know he doesn't muck around. Doesn't muck around. Nickel Salgo owns the fat duck. He certainly does. Thank you. I'm here until tonight. Well done. Then he's up. We've got to go. We can lower him a little bit. Amazing. Put me down. Yeah, Please tighten this. Gently. Oh, Ooh, good, gently. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> In the background, you see that the, the half elf from the Tar Bay, like, Yes, yeah, Sticky Mickey! Yes, way! Wee! <laughs> sticky Mickey! Um, well done. Well, well done, well done, Bob Knob. Come over. What well, you? Oh, great! You're the best performance you've ever had. Hey, you, would you like another autograph? Yeah, go on then. All right. Just Maybe some space on my cheek. On your, your butt cheek? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah go on. Extra I've in. only got my uh, bayonet. Yeah, again, yeah, so. that's good. That's good. Go, oh, who should I make out to? <laughs> What's my name again? Knob. Bob, knob. Bob, Bob, oh, I put Bob. Knob. I'm Bob. Am I the Bob? I'm the Knob. Right, Blob. I right, put Bob. Blob. I put Bob. Blob. Put an L in it. I put Blob. Nice. Perfect. Uh, yours, faithfully. Sticky. It's a oh, long word Ricky. to come. Yeah. Oh, I'll do some squiggles no. underneath. Oh, 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 he's oh. reaming me. I really oh, push hard. I really push hard. Oh. God, you're buzzing after oh, that performance, God, aren't you? You get the adrenaline going. Let's go wild. see what Mickey, Mickey Mickle Salgo thought about that. Thanks for doing the drums, by the way. That's like so, you played them before. Yeah, that was quite fun. What do you think of that? Wow, Michael? sticky Mickey. That was fantastic. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, oh, you're welcome. I'd say the crown has barely seen a fairer performance. I'd say. Nor one quite as uh, levitating. Yeah. I mean, wow. Uplifting. You, yeah, they really did uplift all of us in did here. Did you like the bit where I said about how good you were? I did. Yeah. Particularly about how I owned the fat duck. Yeah, mm. and you had the big hat. Yeah. Did I say about that? I can't remember. I, the big hat. The I, I don't remember the big hat. No, but, it was in there. Um, no, you did it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Let's, Let's, uh, uh, let me just talk to Goyo here. and um, So he is charmed at this point. Um, okay. So he's, he's, he's very charmed. Let me see what I can do about that price. All right. Let's put that in writing. Let's put it in. Let's write that down in a contract. Yeah. Okay, Goyo, what do you think we can do? I want you to dig deep. I want you to really use some of our favors. Call in some favors. Yeah, Goyo. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm just standing here, are there any like audience members that are coming up and like congratulating me and saying like they love oh. me and stuff? I'll go around with a hat. Yeah, the, you, the, the yeah, top yeah, yeah, guy obviously yeah. comes up and he's like, Sticky Mickey, it's a pleasure to see a performance yeah. of yours. Now you see the kind of level that your song will be. Oh, I cannot wait to hear it. Will it be about how I own the Turtle Bay? Yeah. I do not own the Turtle Bay. Oh. But I'd like it to say that. Okay, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, we... oh, I'll do that. Glad you enjoyed it. Would you like to make a contribution to the, uh, to the tour? I'm about to do the oh. rounds, if you wouldn't mind. Someone's going around like a hat. What is that you're handing out there? This is hand. hand. That's just my hand, yeah. So yeah. you want me to put a... It's for the Sticky Mickey? Yeah. He's my manager. He reaches into his pocket, pulls out a gold coin. Amazing. I would Thank pay, you. Oh, I would, I'd pay to see you again. I wish your set was longer. That's all I would say. Oh, yeah, okay. well, we don't want to so like, leave, people leave like, on in more. Reach over and see people him giving you coin and they each press like a gold coin into your hand. The Sticky Mickey. Sticky Mickey. Take it all and everything. You collect about 15 gold from, uh, from the various tables, uh, which is pretty good. Pretty damn sure. good. A gold piece for a tip is very nice. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Okay, uh, we've, uh, I've spoken to Goyo and we've done some math and it looks as though uh, we, can, we can get you a 35% 30, discount. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Look how wide that mouth, that total mouth goes. That is a wide one. <laughs> that's a wide one. Maybe even 40% <laughs> if it goes wide Maybe enough. Maybe even 40. How much? persuasion. What that mouth do? Yeah. <laughs> you want to see what it does when it gets to a 50% discount. Really? Yeah. Wow. Do you want to see it? Is that something that you would do you want to see it? Is that where you want to go with this? I don't think I can go that far. Um, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, but it's almost it's so a fat dog. He's going in. He's going to I own it. I own it. Nickel Salga. I own the fat dog. 50% then. And 50. he's got a great hat. Look at my hat. Look at that hat. That's and that great. hook. Don't yeah. look at the hook for too long. Are you looking at my hook? I didn't look at any hook. Don't look at my hook. There you what go. Hook? So 50 This hook. Oh, you've got a hook on your <laughs> Did you see the amazing? I, I got love very detail. detail. I love yeah. very detail. Hooks on really hands, well. they're very nice. Is it the ornate golden jewelry on it? It's the ornateness. Yes. 
magnificent. Book. Thank you. Thank you. So I can do a 30, 30, 30, 30 to 35% discount. No, I, I can get you on a boat from that. Why don't we do 40 and call it quits? You were so close to 40, weren't you? That was mm. very nice of you to say that with the nice hook and the hat. How about I give you a signed autograph from me tonight on the night of it, you could frame it or keep it, because I'm going to be big. I'm going to be big, you know, especially with the ship that we're about to get. It's good to get. to get in on the ground yeah. floor, you know, before the explosion it'll, of it'll popularity. It'll be worth more than the extra 5% if you add it to I'll it. I'll have that and it'll be a 30% discount. Thank you, Sticky Vicky. What about happened to the 35%? It's oh. down 30. Oh, I went down. Oh. Oh. Where, where? You pushed it. I guess it. this hook wasn't shining Did you not see ornate the song? enough. It was well, a great was... song, Sticky Vicky. 30% is all we can do. You I've been looking 35. over the figures. Uh, I uh, might be able to push for the five, but we'll have to talk to the shipyard. No, let's push it to the five then. Thank you. 35, I mean 35% 30. of 14,000. You do the math. 36. What? 36%. No. no. Got... All right. <laughs> but easy on the math, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. It's an even number. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, 35% of 14K. Somebody want to work that out? That's yeah, I'll uh, figure that out. I'll and that uh, I will be retiring to my bed soon. Oh. Um, it's been a pleasure to meet you, Mickey. Mick, Mick. It's been excellent. Our business will continue, um, but I've had a long day. Uh, I, I'm going to watch the juggler, and as you look over, the juggler is, is just about to start, and he's got these like wicker oh, yeah. baskets full of 9,100 gold, I'm told, is 35%. Um, he's got these three wicker baskets, open top, and uh, with handles, and they're just full of these colorful like black spiders with these like lime green kind of spots on their bodies. And he starts, and he takes the lids off and whoop, starts throwing up the baskets. The first basket goes up into the air and immediately spiders just cascade out of it all over the front row. <laughs> you see this and Bob and I are like, oh Christ. And they just, they get their clubs out and they just start mashing these uh, spiders. Uh, so- uh, Spiders! Ah! Ah! Levitate myself. <laughs> you levitate. Uh, and there are spiders crawling out amongst them. Like, ah! People in the front row getting bitten. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just clapping. Yeah. The middle's just like, oh, for uh, God's sake. All right, I, I need to clean this up. Spiders Gentlemen, so I'll have to let you go. Bob, Knob, get the bloody broom. Oh, there's spiders everywhere. For God's sake. And the spider juggler is just like being covered in spiders. Like the second basket he throws <laughs> into the air falls on his face and he just starts being melted by, you know, eat, the spiders are eating him, going into his eyes, into his mouth, and they're just like, real change of tone here, Bob. You really need to sort these acts out. I oh, know, it's a nightmare in there. And he's there eating spiders. Um, and they are pretty delicious, though. If you try one, it tastes a bit like licorice <coughs> and lime mixed together to make a poison. Um, right, uh, fuck, bloody hell, he's on the next. And it fades into the distance. And so you guys go to the back of the inn. As, uh, as one of the serving staff offers you a seat, um, if you'd like to set one. Uh, Master Flagan, you see, was pushing his way through the crowd at the back. Gentlemen, oh. gentlemen, Floating. gentlemen. Oh, come, hello. hello. What's that really nasal sound? Hello, hello. Up, hello. up there. Hello. What, uh, the why? spiders, Con, have you seen, do you see the spiders? Spiders. Flagenman. No. no I, I hate spiders. I said, why do you want to come up here They're with me? so big. Yes, okay. And he, he, he levitates himself. Come to me. When he drifts up into Great. the air. I, I don't know why I don't just walk around like this, really, but I, I need the exercise. Um, okay, uh, did you did you get my letter? Yeah, we got oh, your letter. Yeah, we did, yeah. What's Very interesting. I've, I've just mind, been what, speaking... Just a bit oilers, miners, what, what did you... Well, I was just thinking what, about what you said about uh, finding me some lead and, oh, and, yes, and, and some, the gold mm. thing. And yeah. I, I know you're looking for money. I've yeah. heard that you're, you've been talking to one of the shipwrights. Yeah. Um, about oh, word them. gets around fast, fast around here, doesn't it? It does, we it does. Him. We we're, very, we're very interconnected. We're, we're all merchants in this area. We talk every night. We come and hang out at the same pubs. Right. Um, and very cliquey. It, it is very cliquey, but it, it makes for a, a successful business. I guess. Uh, and um, So do we need to, like, shake them down, rob them of everything they've got, that oh, kind of thing? God, no. No, no, of course not. Don't, don't oh. rob them. No, no, the, the caravan of miners, I've just speak, spoke to them over at the Rusty Axel. And uh, they plan to set off tomorrow, and they will be heading for a, a mining site not, not six, seven hours from here. And they said that they've discovered some lead, which, as you know, is quite rare in these parts. Is that and inland? It is inland, yes, inland a little while. Um, right, all not right. far, there's, there's fairly decent roads there. They get a bit muddy at times, but that's about it. And, and, and you'll be able to get there, and any, anything you find, anything you help excavate, uh, they'll give you a share. And, and I don't offer this to anyone, but... You have to do me some favours and I, I will help transmute some of that lead. I will, of course, take the lion's share, or the gnome's share. <laughs> I'm a gnome. That's you, a gnome, aren't you? I'm a gnome. You look kind of like a dwarf, though. Ah. I don't want 
Maybe. 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 Well, there we go then. There it is. There it is. There it is. That's that what I'm makes saying. Makes it obvious. Yeah, yeah. My mother was a dwarf. My father was a gnome. That's right. What That's what yeah. I'm saying. I just like to give people a hard time. That's fair. If we were to find some lead, yes. Uh, how much would we need to uh, give to you for our share to be worth about three grand? Just <laughs> a yeah. That's a very in, precise question there, that Tom. That We're just cows. saving up for something, you know? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, when you go to see the caravans, they have uh, large wains, large wagons, designed for transporting ore and metals and things like that. That's right. Towed by oxen or pulled by oxen. Ooh. Strong, large beasts who pull the wagons back for you. If you can fill a wagon with lead and bring it back to me, a third of which I shall return to you as gold, I would need to be sure on the math, but I know the rough weight of a gold coin, and um, we can mint them ourselves. Nobody cares. As long as it's good gold, and as long as it's the right weight. Yes, we material. can make our own coinage here. with certain laws. Not really. Um, yes, I'd say a wagon. A wagon full of lead should do it. They'll have a few. They'll It'll have a standard size. You might need to rent one off of them, um, but very agreeable rates. Five gold a day, um, something along those lines. Bring the wagon back. Bring it to my workshop, and I'll do some of my magic on it. Oh, nothing um, like the manky stuff, though, right? That was gruesome. It's a little bit like the manky I'm stuff. I'm going to look away. Well, it means it's metal. It's on metal. It's not so gruesome. No. But it will look somewhat similar. Okay. Um, but yeah, bring back a large wagon of lead, and I should give you, be able to give you, yes, uh, we'll, we'll see, but about 300 kilograms of gold should be, en uh, of lead should be enough to easily make that money. For you you uh, say they're heading out tomorrow morning yes oh we want to go to the shipyard before then right in the morning oh, yeah. think about that if we're gonna get and spend the money you don't have yeah. well that's we, yeah, we that's currently can't point still point afford a ship oh. even with his 35 percent discount we're gonna have to deal with it on the way back then did you uh, have you pocketed the uh 15 goals we got oh yeah tips? that's in you've got that yeah, yeah. that's in so roughly how much are we talking oh, about? We're looking just excuse there. us, Master Slag, so in a second. We're just, just, I'm going to go and get a drink. And he just like right. soars over Enjoy the crowd. The show. And then like floats down <laughs> over in front of everyone. He's down like sort of floats we... in front of the bar, just completely skips the queue. One of the regular, please. One of the usuals. <laughs> and they just give him this really ordinary cocktail. That really pierces through, oh, isn't oh, it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> the gnome. <laughs> so, uh, the gnome up there. <laughs> Hello. Minus the six. And pain, Bob and Sorry about that. I don't that. know why you did that. I just had Plus to. Plus the 15, we're at 7754 seven, seven, right now. Okay, and my quick maths. If we're going for the, are we going for the expensive ship? Is that what we're, we we're want here? We're going to go to the 14k. I've really got my heart set on the, on right. the good his, one. Right, his discount is, is about 4,900 gold. I reckon okay. we can get him to about five grand just to round it up, which means we're yeah. looking at about nine grand to spend on the ship, which we currently don't have. <laughs> so right. we need about. We need to find a lot of lead. We need at least another grand and a half, basically. At least basically. another gold just, or two. Why don't we just sort this out for this fine gentle folk? If we can get a grand's worth of gold, yeah. get worth. it minted. So we'll get some lead. We'll, we'll get some, some lead. lead. Well, we yeah. should do the lead thing. But I don't want to carve it out Dirty, myself. Yeah. I've got Dirty. Dirty. You got I've any got spells a servant that could like... Use some stuff. You got any like... Maybe we can figure something out. You got an unseen servant, He's unseen. Right? Can, can, yeah. he, can he go and get yeah. mine very out for us? weak. Are they? He's, yeah. He actually won't be able to hold much, I'm afraid. They're like the spirits on the ship. They're he give you a little handshake from here yeah. to there. Alcoholic. Mm. Yeah. Lift your, like, you know, do little tasks for you. Open a window. Right, Light okay. A All right, so we're looking Honestly, at probably no, some manual that. labour coming up. All right, well, I mean, fine. I'm we'll out. figure out the costs. But no, I mean, let's do that. For a third of a wagon of gold, it might be worth <clears> it. Master Flagan is soaring back over the oh, top of the comes. crowd again. He's Spilling a little bit of his very ornate looking cocktail that he's had made. In a, That's in a, the downside of levitating. You literally oh. pour it on people's heads. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, right down the back of the neck. That's going to be cold. Right, he lands. Okay, gentlemen. Stepped out of this big sort of uh, mar martini glass sort of thing. You White know, like, brimmed. Oh, what have you decided? We're going to do it. We're going to do the labour. We're going to fill a wagon of lead. And we're going to get you at lion's share. We hope you aren't going to lead us astray. I would Shit. never lead you astray. I said that wrong, but you know okay. what I mean. I've drunk it's a pun a few. that works better written down. Yeah, it certainly does. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure he uh, won't would... let us astray. I said it wrong again. Yes, I haven't yes. drank what enough. Another ale! Park it. <laughs> the, the, the room is so oh, crowded. I'll float over. The room is so crowded. Yeah, he's a new floater. Fuck this. Where's he gone? <laughs> he's floating <laughs> over the he's crowd as well. I can't. 
Very useful, this spell, for getting drinks. <laughs> it's, like, it's a pact in here now. Like you, the barkeep, <laughs> the serve staff wouldn't hear you. It's no longer table service. So yeah, you float over. Very good. Um, you will find the, the group of miners at the Rusty Axle. Um, Rusty Axle, A group yeah, of dwarves, yeah, yeah. unsurprisingly. I know it's somewhat stereotypical, but uh, they're bloody good at what they do. Uh, the dwarven folk will, will help you. Uh, they'll lead you to the site. Uh, they will require uh, a small share as well, I will say. Oh, cuts after cuts. Come on, we're doing it all ourselves. Well, if there's any way that you can help the dwarves, perhaps help them speed up their own work. Or maybe make them work and we take it. I'll sing them a song. <laughs> <laughs> Inspire them. Mm. Perfect. Yes, yeah, something like that. Inspire them, help them work. Then I will be uh, sure that they will help you with their, you know, accessing their claim, their find. Much led, apparently, to be had. Which is, uh, I, I'd keep that on the down low because, again, valuable commodity. Maybe even turn this into an, you know, an enterprise of your own one day. Who knows? But you seem set on a ship. And, um, well, not much mining can be done with ships unless you're uh, good at holding your breath. You know, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to go and see what the next act is. He just floats out. I up, wouldn't. All right. Floats have across. Fun. Bye. See ya. I hope it's a nude act, you hear him say. Jesus. God, he's old man. He doesn't know what's coming. Oh. Uh, spiders! Spiders! spiders. Uh, no, where, where, where? Guys, <laughs> no, I'm floating already, it's fine. <laughs> uh, right, well, we got... What do you say? I came back, sorry. Yeah, we just sealed the deal. We're just yeah. gonna have to go to the rusty bucket in the morning. Don't tell me we've got to pay the miners. We have to pay oh, the miners well, in this day and age. We've got, this, we've got the toad still. That's the thing. We've got Sticky Mickey oh. with the inspirational songs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get them to do the majority of the labour. They get a little cut and we get the rest. Yeah. And we sit back. Drink some cocktails. Watch it happen. Eat some turtle. Yeah. I could go. Bob's your half orc. We'll be done. Bob's a half orc. Nice. Bob's well, where should we rest this eve? Uh, well, it's going to be loud here, isn't it? Oh, a bit loud here. Let's find somewhere nice and cozy. Yeah. We'll just sleep on the beach. You want to rough it on oh, the okay, beach? I'm Honestly, I love up. sleeping in the sand on the beach. That's yeah. Where I feel most at home. Feel it's going to be bitterly cold on the coast. Have you ever it's done it before? Honestly, no. You've done it underwater, haven't you? I can sleep underwater. Yeah. I'm going to sleep upside down. Underwater. Of course. It doesn't really feel like I wouldn't down. expose yourself on the beach at night. My shell's nice and insulated. Oh. You boys might be have a bit of trouble though. Can I get in your shell? I, never, I was going to ask you before, but I felt like I've, it was rude. Do no, you, has I'm, anyone ever clambered inside that, those holes? I'm saving myself. You're saving yourself? Yeah. So it's possible then? I just it's thought possible, they, they were but I'm, too, I'm waiting until I find that special someone. Okay. Oh, I see. So. No, so in a now we're not of best friends. No, it, no, but not in that way. So we're, we're back to work acquaintances okay. then, are we? No, no, but you don't. Well, tort, fine by me. A total doesn't just share <laughs> really his shell, shell with shell, someone unless it's romantically. Right, okay. Oh, so if I we see. were dying and cold and freezing outside, you no? wouldn't offer your shell. You wouldn't let us tuck in. Please, That's bloody ridiculous. please, I've got frostbite on my nips. Help me, ridiculous. help me, Mickle, let me in. Please, we're dying out I'm here. Sticky Mickle. We're your not dearest oh, friend. Oh, it's cold. Oh, yeah, I keep calling him Mickle. Mickle. Yeah, no, wrong guy. Um, Maybe yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's so cold. Yeah, that could be why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus, all right, you can cover my shell. All oh, right. Well, I don't want to, really. It probably stinks. I'd like to see. I'm going to climb and have a look. I'm gonna my have, head have a poke in. I'm going to put my head in the arm, under the armpit. Go and have a look. Oh, oh! What does it look like to you? It's a lot. Oh, it's, a lot it's all kind of squishy and stuff a, in here. It's, it's like, a lot more roomy than you it's think. Like it's like wet leather. It's, like it's, <laughs> it's like moist leather and it smells horrible. Yeah, but these, you like the posters I've got up there? I described oh. them myself. Oh my goodness, are they naked? Well, I can't really tell. Oh, well, let me have a look. That's a turtle. What is that? Oh, you left it in the other arm. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going out. This is actually horrible. It's a horrible experience. Yeah, we, so I'm right, you know what? You can have that all to yourself tonight. Oh, right, well, there you go. See, friends. Oh, do you have to like like shove a towel down there to dry it out or what? No, it, is it, okay? it, it gets aired. Oh, well ventilated. Oh, I feel like I smell. Do I smell? There's five sword? holes in this. Sniff my face and head. Mmm, you smell that at home. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, he likes his own musk. I'm gonna clean myself Fair up. Fair enough. All right. Well, I'm gonna go find a really cheap inn that's quieter. And uh, you guys can hit the beach if you want to. All right, and so you I'll... step out into the, uh, the the evening street. So this is one of the main concourses for the centre of the town. So it's still reasonably busy, like, you know, well lit. Um, lots of different people walking up and down, getting a little bit merry, um, but the peace is mainly maintained. It's not too sketchy. The odd alleyway off of the side of, of the main concourse now does look a bit 
dodgy, like you know, you don't want to turn down the wrong alley. If you do, you might be looking for certain things, you know, little certain nefarious things. Um, then uh, you can you can you can go where you like. It, so, sword, are you looking for a uh, a cheap inn? Cheap, see? quiet place, just a, like a hay or straw bed. Okay, all right. So a hay or straw bed, you're looking for specifically. You know, the cheapest. So if you want cheap, Sweet. you should probably head down towards the beach because this is the middle oh, of town with the more established yeah. buildings. So I'm going to dip into our funds then and just get myself somewhere reasonable. Oh, so you're going to get something nice. Okay, no. there's a few like places. There's like hotel and inn. There is um, a few like bed and breakfasts, things like that. So uh, do you want to just go into one of those? Yeah. What are you guys thinking you're doing? I'm, I'm just going to knock on the nearest door and ask them if I can stay. The knock on the nearest door. Yeah, I'm just going to knock on the nearest building that looks like a house. So next door to the crown is a trade office, um, which is currently, like the lights are dimmed and stuff, yeah. and, but a, a, a housekeeper comes up, opens the door. Uh, hello. It's, um, it's a, a, a lady of about 70. Um, she looks to, to sleep there overnight to keep an eye on the offices. She's got a little candle in a, in a holder and uh, wearing a long blue and white nighty. Yes. This hello, is elder folk. Hello. I'm looking for a place to stay this eve. Must might I stay in this abode? This is an offices of of, of a trading company, young I'm man. I'm merely looking for shelter. Please just say no if you don't want me to stay. I'm used to rejection. Well, I mean, it is quite cold at night. It certainly is, ma'am. Would you care to share my bed? I yes. Yes, I will. That was easy. I'm coming in. <laughs> Come on in. I love your nighty. It's very nice color. Thank you. Thank you. She like, shows you in the front room, front door. You walk into this like corridor, and it's um, oh, it's clearly it's just like a, a place of business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, there's okay. a few like placards hanging on the wall of like you know chartered trading yeah. company, and oh. like a few pictures of like the staff or like oh, etchings oh, of the staff proudly stood in front of the building. <laughs> to the front right and left are like. Clark's room says so writing desks, tables, things like that as you walk through. Um, and then a staircase leading upstairs to more office space, uh, some storage and things like that as well. You've got bales of all sorts of stuff. There's a back room, opens up. In here is a pantry. Um, uh, we've got food and things like that attached to a small kitchen for boiling water, making teas, things like that. Um, on the floor in the corner of this kitchen is a straw stuffed mattress on a pallet, barely big enough for one person. Right. Um, this is us, says the old woman. <laughs> this this looks apt. I'm gonna go and sit. I'm gonna go to sit down in the bed. You wanna sit on the I'm bed? Just test it out. I wanna test how springy it it's is. It's not springy. Oh. It's a straw mm. stuffed mattress. You sit on it, mm. and it sort of slightly gives. It's not uncomfortable, but you can kind of feel the wooden slats of the pallet beneath the straw stuffed oh mattress. Oh god, ma'am, how's your back? Bad. How often do you sleep? I'm 35. You're th oh dear goodness. She I apologize for 70. my previous comments about your age. <laughs> I called you an elder folk. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm actually a subspecies of human that ages alarmingly quickly. I'll be dead by 40. Oh dear God, how much time do I have? Well, I'm not charging you, so... Um, oh, brilliant. How much, how much stamina do you have? <laughs> I'm just curious. I just don't know if I... It seems you look like you might injure quickly and easily. If, if you wake in the morning and I no longer draw breath, just cover my body in straw and... Okay, maybe. that's how I normally end things. Um, well, I'm gonna get some kip. Um, I'm gonna get some shut eye on this very tiny straw yes. bed that you've created here in this corner. Are you guys just waiting out? Like you saw, like, I imagine you just like looking in the front I, door. There's a window. Is there a window? I'm that, looking for a plush place. Oh, you're just looking. I think one. we're all going like separate ways. I'm gonna open yeah. a window and just see if Kapipi's out there. Is he out there? No, no. You're at the oh. back of a building at this point. They're on the main concourse. Ooh. The window you look out into is just onto a, like a dark alleyway <laughs> that's between here and the Crown. And there's a couple of guys just going at it in the hey. out there. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Hey, stop looking, you goddamn pervert! Give him a break! No, no, he's having a good time! Oh. Oh, go. cool. Shut the window. Right, oh. okay. Awful out there. I'm gonna get some shut eye. This is. Okay. Actually, have you got any food? I could see if there's anything in the pantry. Just something, just quickly. I'm just. I've she goes lot. into really the pantry hungry. and starts <laughs> rustling about. Um, Actually, can we make you a bacon sandwich? Uh, Made from real hog. I don't have any bacon, I've got some biscuit. I'll just eat that, I'll just eat anything you want. My last bit nice. of biscuit, do you want that? Honestly, yeah, if it's your last bit of biscuit, I, I need it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It gives you the oh, bits, lovely. Like, Thank bits you very of biscuit, much. these are just like quite so dry. dry. Oh, have you got anything like like moist or, I mean, is it drink water? Some... I've got some milk and honey. Uh, I'll, have the, I'll have the milk, leave milk? the honey. I don't, I don't you want, want the honey. honey. No, I'm good I'll have honey. the honey then. You glug that honey. <laughs> 
It look, that's it. She's like, she hands drink. you one as if it's like sitting down to have a drink okay. with you. She gives, she sits down uh, next to you and like as you. You're just gonna. She's just like. You're just gonna unsure for a moment, then she just starts drinking the honey. Wow, you're taking that whole oh, thing. It's very down. thick. It's very thick. How oh. are you even talking? Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh. You look like you could do some milk. I'm gonna down mine in one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that. Refreshing. Oh, I'm still spinning a bit, so I'm gonna just lay down, I think. Okay. But you enjoy your honey. Thank you very much for letting me in. I won't pay a penny for this, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> I've, um, and oh. I'm probably gonna fall asleep just like that. So if you try anything in the night, I'm not even gonna know. Oh. Honestly, so <laughs> just thought you should be aware. Okay. Um, but sometimes my gills do excrete fluids. Just ignore that. What them gills do? Well, you'll find out. Okay. Honestly, if you get close, you will find out the Mind smell. if I just like, she sort of like, Gingerly lays down beside you, and there's not very much space left. It's like a sort of like six inches of width, <laughs> and sort of like angles her body slightly so she gets a bit of it on the on the okay. bed, yeah. and a bit of it sort of leans on against you. Yeah. Okay. So, is she okay? Just, yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna just pick up my kind of seaweedish beard and yeah. just slop it round her neck and just fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Just, oh, yeah, it's just actually nice. I hope I don't wake up tomorrow. And there you go. Titus has found somewhere to sleep. <laughs> what are you two looking for? You're Somewhere plush. Without okay, a couple of a couple of buildings down. Um, there's a choir. So this isn't necessarily like an inn or a night venue. This is more like for travellers that are just looking for a bed. So you walk in there. There's a very homely-looking gentleman um, behind the sort of the desk, the reception, let's call it, of this uh, three-story building. It's all wood construction, like most of the buildings here, um, and it's got nice golden lanterns on the wall, keeping things warm. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, would you be looking for a bed for this evening? Yeah. Well, you'll be Gimme, happy. gimme, gimme. You'll be happy to know that the, 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 the bowl and gull uh, have a room available for you. How much? Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, two silver for the night. Oh, it's pushing it, isn't it? It's... What have we got in there? What luxuries? You got free toilet paper, that sort of thing? Uh, free toilet en paper, suite? yes. Not, well, there's a bucket. Um, it's not bad. Uh, the beds are sprung. No straw here. Sprung and cotton. Uh, oh, wow. All right. Our sheets are clean. Uh, and you will have the whole room to yourself. Hell yeah. I'll take that, please. Two silver, right? Two silver, please, sir. Put yes. on my tab and I just start walking up. You don't have a tab, sir. What? There's no tab set up. What do you mean? Uh, exactly what I'm saying. Oh, fine. And I get out two silver and lob it onto it's the three counter. three silver, sir. Huh? Three silver. You said two, didn't it's you? three now. Why now? Because you tried to go without paying. You can't just add on a silver. It's my establishment, I'll do what I want. I'm going somewhere else then. Okay. I'll take the silver away and I'm gonna rough it on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. Goddamn capitalist. So you're just now just gonna sleep on I'm the street? I'm just gonna, you know, stubbornly rough it. <laughs> there are other establishments you can try. I'm going to probably two. get like an hour or two in and be like bitterly cold and like, fuck, I'm going to need to go somewhere else. <laughs> shivering. Right. Whilst he's working out, he's shivering. What are you doing, Kapibi? So I was going to make my way down towards the beach and find like a classic uh, turtle, place to sleep, turtle place to sleep. Just, You're uh, just going to sleep on the beach? Just in my shell. Flump. Like okay, I, so you I, walk I down. find like a, like a rocky area that's Okay, yeah. That's you walk down the main concourse elements. and you turn right this time. Rather than turning, so you're now going back towards the piers. And uh, to the left would be back towards Turtle Bay and the shipyards. To the right, um, the, the shipyard, the, the piers and pontoons become less numerous. Um, there are fewer and fewer of them uh, built here. As the town starts to fade from established buildings to smaller wooden buildings to lean-tos and tents, uh, you find more open beach. There are several uh, different people sleeping on this beach in their tents and shacks and lean-tos. Uh, and uh, do you want to try and find space? Are you okay being near people? How far do you want to go? The further you walk around the curve of this bay, the quieter it's going to get. So I see these tents and I'm just going to be kind of within earshot of, of, of these, you know, if anyone was talking in that area, I'd be in earshot of them, but I'm kind of behind the tent so out of the way of any firelight they might have or anything, just like tucked up at As the As you walk past the tent, <laughs> out through the tent pops a head. Ah. Oh God, you startled me. Hello, Tortra. Hello, who are you? I'm Mayor Cloudy Eye. Sorry? Mayor Cloudy Eye. Mayor Cloudy Eye. The, uh, the, you, you see this like tabaxi head, uh, a cat person basically, right. stick their head out. 
and they look pretty bedraggled. They've got like a fur, the fur forms an almost gray ragged beard oh, along the bottom of their, their jaw. And then they have their pointy um, tufts of ears. He's got some, several piercing in his ears. Oh, nothing. Are you coming to stay in my kingdom? What's, what's your king? I was just going to lay over there. But Everything what? the sand touches. Everything the sand touches. Are you right going now? to pay to live in my kingdom? Do you actually own this or are you pretending? Well, would you like to have a debate about ownership? Uh, and the concepts around it. Is yeah. this my property? Is this our property? How, Is what, none of what, it property? What kind of gives you... How are you the mayor of this place? I mainly harass people until they give me money. Right, criminal then. Well... Criminal would presume there is some form of legal framework in place, which there is not. Yeah, but I'm not going to sleep inside like a tent or anything. I've just got my own shell. I'm, I'm going to be in no one's Who do you rent way. the shell off of? Sorry? Who do you rent the shell off of? It's my own. Your I, own? You yeah. own your own shell? Yes. Well, part, somebody's doing well. Part of me. No, no, I was just born with it. Fully paid up? Fully paid up. It's mine. I own it. Right. No more payments. Lovely. How do I grow one? You don't. You've got to be a total. Huh? I'm a turtle. You're a turtle? Yeah, we have shells. Oh, sorry. I just make out of shape. It's dark and my eyes are not dark, what they used to be. Um, Do you want to come in my tent? I don't. I want to just sleep like, over there, if that's all right. Do I need to pay for that? Or... Oh, that's a good spot. Well, all right, I'll go next to it then. Oh, that's so. Oh, that's a better spot. Is it? I'll go back to the other one then. How that's much? A, sorry, that's okay. How much? That's okay. I don't know. What have you got? Can you tin cans? I... Any cans? Oh, I haven't. Got anything good? Got any meat? Got any food? I haven't got any... I ain't got any food. I've got this, uh... It starts sniffing around you. I've got all the instruments. I've got this, um... Sniffing around your shell? What's in these bags? What's, in, what's this stuffed dog bag here? What's, what's, what's in here? This doggy oh, bag? No, it's just bag? a bit of, uh, leftovers and what stuff. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's just food. You want it? Bell's good. Would you accept that as payment? I for... would. I just want to get my head... Like, I've had a busy night. I've Tell you what, a... give me the bag, and yeah. you can sleep in the best spot. The best spot. The one next to the good spot. Oh, does it have a nice view? In the morning it will. Yeah, what about now? Well, it's a bit dark. Right. Fine, yes, you can take this doggy bag. Yes, thank you. And it takes it off of you and it just disappears back. Do I get a ticket? Tent. Oh, it's gone. And you just hit. Oh, God. All right, I'll make my way over here. You just sit, just there. Just sit. sit down this on the beach. A, After just... being sort of mugged, you lay it's down on the beach. It's just a sand spot. It's just, let me just try the other spot. No, it's the same. All right, I'll go back to the one that I rented. In I go. Blunk, blunk. Inside, uh, and you sleep quite peacefully for the night. Gentle, warm breeze comes off of the ocean. Come on, Terence. He's still here, remember? Uh, <laughs> Terence is there on your shoulder. <laughs> He's been there the whole time. Amalgamated, just part of you at this point. <laughs> sleeping quietly amongst all your kids. I like to think that because you have so much crap all over your body, he tell. kind of blends in. He does. Like, That's you know, how I forget him. <laughs> oh, I forgot to feed you, Terence. Oh, oh. Well, he's taking the food now. Oh, no. Oh, well. You sleep well. Uh, back to Sword. <laughs> have you got any beds or something? I'm just walking to the next establishment. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, hello, dearie, you look cold. It's fucking freezing out there. Yeah. God damn. We haven't got many, well, we've got a few, but this is a whorehouse. Oh, good, all right. We can give you an empty room, but don't be surprised if you get us who knocks in the night. All right, as long as it's not throughout the night, sure. Well, in my, I'll try not to send any punters your way, but sometimes they get confused. Oh, There's uh, a matron-like <laughs> Whatever, character. just take it. Um, all right, don't How much? Um, a couple of copper. All right, yeah. We haven't changed the sheets. Oh, really? It's pretty grim. God, it's fucking cold, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Whatever, I'll take it. So, I'll go, we'll, send, we'll send a couple of whores will take you up. All right. All right. And a couple of whores take you up. Vibrate upstairs. Yeah. Vibrate. It's some shaking from the cold. Oh, I see. Right, they come up. Oh, come on. Oh, lovely to meet you. Get off. Oh, oh sorry. I'm not interested. I'm just... Showing you to your room. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. You're interested in the room? I, I and they open it up, you walk in, it smells like a dockside pot. It's, it's, it's pretty... God, that's rough. Yeah. What okay. the hell do you do in here? Um, we burn a lot of incense. Uh, right. And they, they light a few and then they, open, they, they push open a couple of the windows. It's not a bad night. For a couple of copper, you've got quite a nice bed. This is a good establishment. It's, it's, it's got some railings and things still with a few bits and bobs attached to them. Yeah. Um, and the sheets aren't the cleanest, but you think they've probably been cleaned today. And if you're really lucky, there's only been like eight to ten clients in here today. So um, I've just, lucked out here. You've, you've done a, you've done all right. This is a good room. This is the the rose room. 
Um, the Rose Room. Yes. Very, very fancy. fancy. Anyway, well, have, have a good night. Just going to go to sleep. Yeah. Yes, yes, try. Appreciate the Sorry talk. Sorry if there's any banging on the walls or yeah. screams of delight yeah. or anything else. If anyone does knock on the door, just say Occup Occupado. Occupado. Yes. Don't say, don't come in. Don't come in. Don't, don't say, say that. that. Don't say, say that because occupado. it's a service we offer. It's called <laughs> Bedroom Invader. Yeah. And it's a bit of a kink. That, I'm glad you told me. Yes. I'm glad you told me. Thank you. Yes. So what don't you say? Don't come in. Right. Good. Mm. All right. God, that <laughs> dodged a big bullet there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good night. Any locks on the inside? No. Close the door. No locks. Okay. And yeah, do you I, fall asleep? I bring up the yeah. crinkly sheet. <laughs> a bit crisp. Crunch, crunch. And Fucked you all get a lovely night's sleep. Yeah. yeah Ready breath. to meet the day in the morning and head to the rusty axle to meet your team of miners with mm. an O. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been part <laughs> two with an o. of session six of booty high seas, low expectations. Uh, let's hope the gang get a good night's sleep and they're ready for next session. Uh, all of these sessions are available online, on YouTube, on podcast form. They're bloody everywhere. Thanks to people from Patreon for supporting it. Um, anything else, you guys? I always forget these things. That's, yeah, that's the, the key place. Give us a rating. Yeah, podcast, our podcast ratings. as well. It's doing well. It's, it's been hitting the, the high charts, which is great for us. Much like appreciated. Not that. That's the UK so, charts, so US charts next, right? Yeah, yeah we'll come. You for guys you. are the US. Storm the US. Um, but yeah, thank you also for our live audience checking this out live if you want to as well. It's twitch.tv slash hatfilms. Obviously, you'll be getting the episodes first, mm -hmm. unedited, raw as they come. Yep. And uh, yeah, they are wonderfully edited by Craig, who redoes all the sound effects and stuff for the podcast and the YouTube version. So enjoy that if you're just yep. watching live. And we'll see you next time. Indeed. Bye. 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 Bye.